week long in our Boomtown series, we are tracking growth across our community. And today we're covering a potentially shrinking Division Street. Once the North South Freeway is completed, the city is planning to make changes to one of Spokane's busiest streets. Crime 2's Nathan Hyun spoke with the opponents of this so-called Division Diet and how this project all came together. If you've driven on Division Street recently, you might have noticed he stopped the Division Road Diet billboard signs. That's because by the end of this decade, the number of lanes drivers can use on Division might change. Now, a road diet is planned for Division Street. This video was released by Curing Spokane back in August of this year. It points out what it calls potential flaws of the future Division Street bus rapid transit line. Already, a Division is a congested street and this taking away 33% to 50% of the lanes is going to just make it more congested. Larry Stone is the creator of the Curing Spokane video series. This reduction will decrease access to local businesses. He is a strong opponent of the so-called division diet. The project is expected to reduce one lane on both north and southbound lanes of Division Street for public transportation purposes. Stone says this doesn't make sense for a rapidly growing city. More homes are going to be built up north, both in the unincorporated areas and in the city and to um, make the commute more difficult and more costly and more pollution doesn't make any sense to me. Spokane Transit Authority Chief Planning and Development Officer Carl Otterstrom says the project was first discussed back in 2010. He's going to define the opportunities for growth and reinvestment in North Spokane. STA wants Division Street to promote all modes of transportation, and that includes transit. STA says lanes set aside for transit to allow buses to get passengers to their destinations faster. Division could actually degrade and be a place that people don't want to be. And so this is an opportunity to reimagine it. Division Street sees upwards of 50,000 cars a day. But Otterstrom says the research shows once the north-south corridor is completed, that won't be the case. Shifting part of that traffic that's on Division today to the North Spokane corridor as well as on other streets. And so that actually frees up capacity. And the lane's purpose for transportation won't be completely cut off to the public. In the case of the cars, though, they're focused on cars that are making turning movements in or out of the side streets. But even with the promising future, many businesses on Division are left worried. It's going to have a huge negative impact on businesses. Tom Barony is the owner of the general store on Division. Oh, go for it. Go ahead. He worries the project will hurt his business. And a lot of customers, they're going to find different ways to travel and they'll find different shopping patterns and they'll, they'll move on to other businesses. Barony believes the project won't do Spokane any good. A lot of people still have to commute uh, within city. So I think the majority of that traffic is still going to stay even with the North-South Freeway. But for Tom and others who oppose the project, it yeah, may be yeah, too yeah. late. Yeah, just getting everything ready for the snow. The $200 million project is already underway. And we are beginning 30% uh, design, which helps us really uh, identify the costs. The Spokane Transit Authority tells me the project could begin construction in the year 2027 and the project could be completed in the year 2030. In Spokane, Nathan Hyun, Krem 2 News. And in our ongoing Boomtown series, we are also tracking how increasing rent prices are affecting Spokaneites. In the past year, rents haven't increased too much, but in the last five years, they've gone up by nearly 50%. It is crazy. This whole rent is ridiculous. So tomorrow morning on Up with Krem, our Nicole Hernandez sat down with four Spokane County renters to talk about how much living in Spokane actually costs.